gibbons small asian apes move by branchiation swinging below a hand hold to move forward to the next hand hold a 9 kg gibbon has an arm length of 0.6 meters we can model its motion as that of a point mass swinging at the end of a 0.6 meter long massless rod at the lowest point of its swing the gibbon is moving at 3.5 meters per second what upward force must a branch provide to support the swinging gibbon okay here he is saying that this is the massless rod just he is giving the uh, model okay so this is the mass mass of the uh, ap is 9 kilograms m is equal to 9 kilograms <coughs> So F G is acting downwards. F G is equal to M G is equal to nine into nine point eight, and then this is the F tension. Now we will write the y direction force. Sigma F y is equal to F T minus F G is equal to M Y. Here it is the uh, circular motion. Okay. it makes a kind of circle so i i will take this as in ac and you know that ac is equal to v square over r okay and then here he gave the velocity as 3.5 meters per second okay and then what he is saying uh, length is given to us length is given as uh, 6.6 meters okay so this length is nothing but your r okay so ac is equal to now we will write v square over r so this is 3.5 whole square divided by 0.6 now what is the value of this one? okay we will do it later the simplification we will do later and then here f tension minus Uh, mg so uh, what i do is i will take that other side so f tension is equal to mg plus m v square over r therefore f tension is equal to m times g plus v square over r okay so this is equal to mass is 9 kilograms times 9.8 plus This is three point five square divided by zero point six. Okay, so the upward force he is asking the upward force. Upward force is nothing but the F tension. So F tension is equal to two hundred and seventy newtons. This is the answer for this question. Okay, that is the upward force a branch must provide to support the swinging kibba. Okay this is the answer for this question thank you bye bye